Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on new makeup, or new to me at least. Not all of these are new. New, new, I mean. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you guys can stay tuned with all my videos. And also be sure to hit that bell button. That way you guys can go ahead and be notified when I upload because that is super important and I would love to have you guys about this family got going on here it would mean a lot to me so let's just jump right into the video if you like the look that you are seeing today then let's just jump right into this video so I already went ahead and primed my face everything is good to go so I don't have a new eyeshadow primer so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my concealer which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 05 which is the lightest shade of course so I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes, which hopefully, oh, that is really light, so this should be a really good shade for me, because, you know, I have a hard time finding concealers that are actually light enough to actually highlight, but this might be a really good one. I like how it clicks into place, that way you know that it's closed, so... So it looks really good so far. I mean, it almost looks like it's matching my skin tone pretty well, so that is good. And there's no sort of oranginess. It's, it just looks like straight up, kind of, like, flesh-toned. I know it's a concealer, but I do have a hard time finding a good concealer that actually matches my skin tone. The Wet n' Wild one... I feel like it is too dark, but since I sheer it out a lot, I definitely am able to, you know, I'm definitely able to make it my skin tone because I do sheer it out very much so. Ooh, it's on my eye. Alright. So I'm, when I'm blending stuff out, I'm going to jump into fast forward mode. That way it's not boring, you can just move straight along. Don't have to worry about me seeing me blend for like 5 million years. I don't think anyone wants to watch someone blend in silence and just hear the heavy breathing. Yeah. Strange. Alright, so I think that is primed. It's looking really good. It's almost matching my skin tone when I look in the mirror behind me. So that is definitely good because this girl's really fair. So I'm going to be taking the Make Magic Magic Happen by Tarte. Um, I will link down below the haul video where I got everything. That way you know, you know, all that kind of stuff. But this is what the palette looks like. It is very, very beautiful. I mean, just look at those colors. So, I'm just going to do a very simple look, you know, I, you know, yeah, I'm just going to do a simple look, maybe a couple things in the crease, maybe a little out of reaction, and that's really about it, nothing too dramatic.
have to say I'm pretty impressed. I loved how this looked in the crease. It looked very, very beautiful. I and this one I'm I was kind of a little bit let down. It wasn't as sparkly as I'm used to. But I'm sure if you added like a little bit of fix plus, I think it'd be all fine and dandy. But I loved how this looked in the outer V and just adding this on the ends. I think really defined the outer V very well. I think this is like the most natural makeup I think I've ever done besides using pinks. Like I think this is very, very pretty and I love how they blended. I'm very impressed. Um, you do need to build up this color right here in the crease. This, co this color you did also need to build up a little bit. It wasn't that much. It could have been the brush that I was using. So I mean, just take that with a grain of salt. I was using like an e.l.f blending brush, but I like that for outer V's. And this one needed a little bit of work, but I like how it's not too in your face where you have too much pigment and you have to really try and work and blend it out. I like how you're able to build up the shadows very, very nicely. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm happy where it's at. I'm probably not going to add anything underneath the lower lash line. I really, I really do enjoy how it's looking, so... Fairly impressed. This may be a really good... This is definitely a keeper, that's for damn sure. Now I'm just going to go ahead and draw on a small little line. Align my lash line. I'm not going to do any sort of wings. This is the Essence Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. This I'm, this is something I'm going to be testing out for the wedding because it's something that, you know, I'm going to need it. So I'm just going to go... Uh, why is that all dirty? Ugh. So I'm just going to go ahead and just... Oop, that's really black. Okay. Ooh, so far I am really enjoying this. I think it would be very easy to do a wing. It's very, very black too, so that's something you don't have to worry about. Like, really, really trying to work at it. I'm pretty impressed. So, I'm just going to go ahead. Actually, I'll do the other eye off of camera. That way, you know. Alright, so I got a little too clunky, and I kind of messed up on this eye. You definitely don't want to drag the pen. You want to kind of stamp it into place, make small lines. I just used a tip on this eye, and I think it really turned out very well. I did try and drag it with this eye, and I just, I think I just totally, like, butchered it to, like, hell. I mean, look at the difference with both eyes. This is just stamping it into place. This one is dragging. I did get a little bit of patchiness when I was dragging it towards the end. It could have just been my eye, like the wrinkles in it. But I did have a couple patches I had to go back over, so I wouldn't recommend dragging it across your lash line. Not to, no. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara. And this one is not in waterproof. I'm going to try this one first. And then I'll try the waterproof, like, maybe in June. That way, if I don't like it, I can just go to something else. So, we'll see how this works. So, also, I'm not going to be applying falsies. I somehow lost my lash glue. I do not know where it went. So, I'm just going to go ahead and not put on lashes. So, just throwing that out there. Also, I wanted to go and tell you guys, for the Sephora palette, I'm going to be just trying that out on my own because it's such a big palette I think doing a first impression it just wouldn't work out at least I don't think it would be so I'm saving that one for a full-on review like I give you my full opinion and I try it out like for a while so alright so I didn't do the bottom lashes I'm gonna wait till after my concealer and powder oh that's a hair are on I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my concealer I'm just gonna put it you normally where I put it just right underneath my eyes there's a very bright. So I'm just going to do actually just a couple dots. I'm not going to do the full on swipe. I'm just going to do a couple dots. Let's see how that blends out on my face. That's very important. I'm going to blend that out the finger. I need to go and get a sponge when I go to Walmart or something. That seems to be very brightening. So, note to self, just one. That should be enough. But I do think that... Is it just me or is it... 
I think it's matching my skin pretty well. I mean, it looks a little bit brighter, but not by much. Uh, sorry, I'm looking in a thing, but a uh, mirror behind me, so. Now, I definitely wouldn't say that this concealer is full coverage, because I can definitely see my dark circles underneath it, like the, whatever they are, I think they're dark circles, who knows. But, I definitely see that through it, but I'm not mad at it. Like, I still think it did the job, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed, I'm pretty impressed by the color, that's for shit, that's for darn sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it right away with my Fit Me Concealer, I mean my Fit Me Powder in Translucent. Translucent. I'm not going to bake or anything, I'm just going to go ahead and set it. Now I like using this little bitty eye eyeshadow brush for it because I really feel like it really packs on that powder. I think after I pack on that powder I definitely think it loses its brightness, but kind of you see the difference? Like, this is just concealer, and this one is powder. I definitely think the powder kind of tones it down and almost makes it, like, match my skin tone even more, which I'm really liking. It looks really nice. Alright, so I think that is good. I feel like everything is nice and set into place. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on my mascara right off the camera because, you know, that's the boring part. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put on my brows because I forgot to do that. And I'm going to be using the Koki uh, Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. This is waterproof, so if you need something waterproof, I would go for this. I, there is no spoolie, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the spoolie from my Sephora one and comb my brows. I need to redo my brows, like, definitely need to pluck them a little bit. Mm, go and get that done. So I'm going to go ahead and put fill in my brows. Alright, you guys, the color is absolutely amazing. I have never seen a brow color that is so close to my hair color. It's not even funny. Like, this is the perfect ash brown. If you guys are if you are searching for the perfect ash brown, pick this up. But I also have a brow mascara to try, so, you know. I got that one from BoxyCharm. So. Okay, so this is the brow gal. Tanya Crooks Instant Brow Hair Tinted Brow Mascara with microfibers. Oh, this might be a little, this might be a little, uh, you know, but we shall see. We definitely shall see. So I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, wrong end. So this is what the wand looks like. It's teeny tiny, but it's not like see the fibers on it. Okay, well, here goes nothing. It didn't do much. I mean, uh, and I think if I remember this correctly, this was kind of hefty and priced. I got it in BoxyCharm. I'm just surprised that this is the, all the product you get. I thought it was all this, the product, but it's just packaging is weird, I'll tell you that much. I don't think it did anything special, so mm, this might be a pass. I mean, I'll still probably wear it because I have it in BoxyCharm, but I wouldn't go out and buy it. You know, I'm better off with the e.l.f. one that's like five bucks. That one was like super glue for your brows.
Next, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade of Pink Rose. It's a very pure, pretty blush. Here, I'm going to open up the packaging so you can actually see the blush. This is what it looks like. I, I mean, it's just a plain blush. It's nothing like, I don't know if there's a sheen to it. No, it's completely matte, but it's not wanting to pick up on camera. There you go. That's what it looks like. It's just a pretty everyday blush. Nothing special. But I'm just going to go ahead and dip into that. Tap off that excess, of course. We don't need to be looking clown status. I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. I definitely see pigment, that's for sure, but... The question is, is, there a, is it worth the price? Now, I did see some blushes from LA Colors and they ooh I thought that almost fell and they looked beautiful like that the colors that they had mm. LA Colors been stepping up their game you guys like I found some stuff and I'm just like this looks like high end stuff I was like oh hot damn now I I kind of see it. I mean, I don't know if it did much. I'm going to have to keep working on it. When I go out, I will definitely look and see if it actually showed up. I don't, you know. Mm. Guys, so the second to last thing I have are these new highlighters I got from LA Colors. I bought them at Family Dollar, I believe. And I'm just going to go and swatch them for you guys because they are crazy beautiful. Like... This one is called Champagne. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Like, look at that. Like, this was $3. Like, really? $3? Now, this may be too dark. But I'm just going to go and try and really, like, not get too much. I may just wind up going for the pink because this one is more of a... This would probably look like more of a blush topper than anything else. But for $3, you guys... Like, LA Colors is stepping up their game. Like I said, they had these beautiful blushes. I'm just like, let me go and get them all. Okay, um, sorry, you guys. All right. Like, just, that's like a horrible spot. But look at that, you guys. That's crazy. And it's like, has a pink reflect. It is a little bit crumbly, but I think it's okay, you know. I just, I can't get over just how beautiful it is. Alright, so I'm going to go and use both of them, actually. I'm going to use this one on the eye, because this one is definitely too dark, and I think I only picked it up to use as an eyeshadow. So I'm just going to go ahead and swirl my finger in it. And it does come with a stupid sponge, but we don't use that. I'm just going to go and pop that on my eye. Ooh, that is... Now, they are a little rough to the touch, you know, but I don't, that doesn't bother me really, because if you remember, the e.l.f. baked eyeshadows are, anything baked is usually rough. These aren't baked, it doesn't claim to be baked, but, I mean, $3, I can get over the fact of it being rough to the touch, but they come, the pigment comes off very, very easily. I mean, just look at the difference, you guys. Like, look at that. That's stunning. I can't, I can't get over that. Alright, so I did put it on a little bit of my eyeliner. That's okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the... This one's called Flashing Pink. I'm going to go ahead and put that on... Use this one as a highlighter. Oh, the stupid sponge. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my favorite highlighting brush, and I'm just going to really lightly go over it. Because this one is a strobing powder. This is, like, that's what it says, so. I'm going to do a little bit. Ooh, okay, that's really pretty. Do you see that, you guys? Okay, I don't, may not pick up on camera, like, the actual shift to it. Come on. Alright, you know what? Just knock it off once. Okay, let's see. Just that will pick up the pigment. Like, look at that. 
like it just looks like a blush. I'll try and take a picture for you guys when I go outside. Maybe it can, you know, really make this highlighter pop. But I'm just so surprised because this, this is LA colors, you guys. This is the stuff that I would never ever think about buying because it's LA colors. I mean, I may even buy like an eyeshadow palette from them, but I'm just so impressed. Like. This is ridiculous. Here, I'm going to try and turn, turn, turn off my lights. So maybe you can see something. There you go. Like that. And I'm going to go and see. And I don't... It doesn't look like it, it shows up any of my texture. Because I do have texture over here. I don't see it really showing off any of my texture. But uh, I'm not going to put any in my nose. I'm just going to leave it as is. And just... Uh, I can't get over that, you guys. I'm just... This kind of reminds me of my... My favorite Wet n Wild one. I'm going to go and compare them, maybe. And see if that's the better buy. Because... I'd be surprised if LA Colors was a lot better than... Wet n Wild with highlighters. I'd be, like... Shocked. Alright, you guys, so for the last step besides setting my face, I'm going to go and put on a lip liner, which, oh, wrong hand, which I have the LA Colors um, Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Natural, and I also have the Auto li Lip Liner by LA Colors in the shade Mauve, so I'm just going to go ahead and swatch them for you guys, like, they're creamy, like, look at that, they're creamy, and they're just, I think these were $2, I don't remember how much they were. But I'm just kind of, like, surprised. Like, I don't even think Wet n Wild is like this. So, I think I might go with this one because it has a little bit more pink, which is the mauve. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. Oh, come on. Oh, wrong cap. <sighs> I'm a genius sometimes, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the Fenty Beauty um, Lip Glow, Fenty Glow gloss on and see how that looks. I'm just a little excited. You guys, I am so blown away on how beautiful this lip color is and just how creamy and almost gel-like the lip liner was. It was like, I don't normally wear lip liner as just a fill-in. I don't wear lip liners, period. But I can totally see myself wearing this, like, every single day. Like, seriously, like, I can see myself wearing this lip combo every single day. It makes my lips look nice and big and full and... I already do have full lips, but this kind of really makes them look, makes them stand out. And this highlight, you guys, like, oh my god. Here, I'm going to try to, without getting a glare, there. Like, that's just, that's just crazy. Especially since this is, like, LA colors we're talking about. I am just blown away. So, that is it with the video. The only thing I think I really didn't like, if I remember correctly is a brown mascara that I got from BoxyCharm. It was like, meh, just gonna use it because I have it type of thing. But everything else, I am pleasantly surprised. I enjoyed every single thing besides that one thing. And even that one wasn't so bad, you know? So, and the gloss isn't very sticky. It's very comfortable on the lips. I just gotta get used to wearing a gloss. I'm not used to that yet. So, alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, don't forget to be sure to subscribe to my channel at the very end or whenever. So don't forget that as well. And also, I hope you guys 
I think I'm going to be uploading this video on Saturday. It should be Saturday when this video comes out. So, you will probably see my 50 questions since it will be my birthday on Friday, so I'm going to go and upload that. So, I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.